Hello YouTube, this is Piss and Moan, and this is our second attempt at a Kokoro Connect uh, <laughs> review. I, I don't know if we're actually going to throw up our first one, but I uh, I decided to review two completely different <laughs> animes, and just not realize until we got to spoilers, and I started listing off plot points. It's confusing as hell. <laughs> it's bad. And we realized my mistake, and then I proceeded to review another different anime. Yeah, the wrong one again. It like, just... oh, we can roll with it, we can roll, no, nope, uh, I am not even there. So this one, <laughs> Kokoro the, Connect. Kokoro Connect. Uh, basic premise. If I had to sum it up, it's like some sort of demonic presence comes and starts performing social experiments on a high school club. Yeah, that's probably about right. If I were to sum it up as simply as I could. But yeah, I guess. But that doesn't give up too much weight or anything like that. And now, God, how did you get it so wrong <laughs> in the other review? God. <laughs> Zoom! <laughs> just, no idea where I was I going. was in the right place. Yeah, just, I was I was on Toradora, then on uh, uh, Anohana. <sighs> yeah, anyway. So, I have a lot of complaints about this one, and I'll get into those more so in the spoilers. And... Uh, but basically, I did really like it. Uh, it was a, a decent... There was a lot of uh, cool uh, ideas presented in this one and interesting situations they're put in. and Lots of fun different ways to build characters. In yeah. Unusual ways. I really enjoyed the first arc the most. I didn't enjoy the, the subsequent ones as much, but they were all pretty good. My favorite were the first... Well, I don't know. Because I really like what they did with Inaba in the second arc. And then the third arc with the, the age regression. That uh, was actually... That was kind of frightening. Yeah, that one was my least favorite. It was more frightening, not as interesting. Eh, I suppose. But then again, that focused on one of the characters I just don't care about, so that might true, be why. True, true. <laughs> that gave us the, the fan one fan service moment for it about those. So. Yeah. Basically, my, pre my idea is, like, I really enjoyed the three main characters and the two other of the main character group i did not enjoy at all so like this is a solid seven or eight out of ten it's way above average it's really good i i would recommend you watch it but don't expect it to be perfect and expect to have complaints and understand it's aimed at a younger audience i think that's mm. i felt very much okay. that it was a, a aimed at a younger audience all right. More towards, like, late elementary school, early high school, or whatever the equivalent is in Japan. I would say, I'd say for enjoyment, attach yourself to a character. Yeah, one of the good characters. Yeah. Taichi, Inaba, or Naga, uh, Lori? Lori? However you Yuri. pronounce her name. Yori. Uh, yeah, put an I, but it looks like an L, so That's I got what confused. what happens capitalize? Yori. Uh, Yui and Aoki are just kind of lame, in my opinion. And Aoki had so much character to be awesome, just really poorly executed. You know, she can kick ass, but... That's about it. Yeah. Kick ass and afraid, and... Yeah, but they so... They don't go anywhere with it. Uh, do you have any more complaints, or... I... Yes. Uh, Anything spoiler Your free? hair is annoying. Um, your voice is feminine. feminine. Yes. <laughs> Goes along with my dash. You need to books. speak slower, too, so that... Uh, there are clear breaks for editing. Yeah, alcohol doesn't work well for that. I'm just running it on. Well, several year old alcohol doesn't work for that. What the hell are you drinking? <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> no, I have nothing else to go into before. It's very... Um, I wouldn't say chewy, bad. but it's got chunks. It's mostly dismembered berries. It's not bad. Well, I mean, I drank it all. Know, I mean, that's not necessarily a sign of good alcohol. <laughs> totally it. We've okay, seen so some... What'd you give it? What out of 10? What out of 10? I would give it an 8. I'd give it Ooh, an 8. wow. You like a lot more than I do. I'm, I'm gonna go with 6. It's above average, but... Not by much. My problem with giving things low reviews, scores like that, is people will see, uh, 6 must be garbage and stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Basically, understand, if it's below 5, we probably didn't review it. Oh, we could review Transformers. We were gonna do that. <laughs> that one I'll Stay give, on like, topic. a 2. <laughs> I feel like you can talk. I'm going to upload that last one just so they can hear you off topic. Me off topic? Hey, I was trying to get to I the point where I discovered you, that man. I was on the wrong. <laughs> I was playing off of you, man. <laughs> I would have discovered a lot sooner that I was reviewing the wrong anime if you hadn't been so off topic. I would have discovered a lot sooner if you'd listened to me. 
I listened. Oh yeah, what's this about an after school club that they're all part of? That no, no, they really aren't. No. <laughs> um, they really aren't. Anyways, moving on to spoilers. So <laughs> spoilers. If you want to go see it, go see it now. Don't don't listen anymore. Why, why am I letting you get me into doing this? This is silly. No, jazz hands, spirit fingers. <laughs> Okay, so, <laughs> uh, in this anime, spoiler-wise, the first arc where they have the body swapping is where I really think they, they hit their stride. I was pulled in by that point, even though the subsequent arcs I didn't enjoy as much. Probably up until the last one where they could read each other's minds. Yeah, it was... Well, I don't even remember the second arc. Oh, the outbursts. That so, had some second, funny. Yes. I, that one was good for like a change of pace from how incredibly serious the first one was. The second one was very fan servicey and fun. Well, not for anyone. And they got rid of the the annoying one, so it was cool. It was, that was the best arc. Well, now, that, now that, that I think was about it. the second arc is the one that got me fall in love with Inaba as a character because I'm like, hell yeah. yes, those are all the same decisions I'd make. Thank you very much. She's a, she's who I attach to in the show. Me because. too. She was my favorite by far. I like Tai Chi as well. But uh, Inaba was my favorite. Mm -hmm. And spoiler, spoiler, I'm so happy they ended up together. Yep. I would have been fine with Nagase uh, getting that, though, too, because she was awesome. She was pretty cool. The problem was her her whole bit in the last arc really bugged the crap out of me. What bugged me was how none of them got it. That, that, like, they all knew what her situation was, and it was just so unbelievable to me that they couldn't figure it out and yeah. understand. I mean, that kind of a power could create those kinds of things where people just have bad thoughts about each other. So that arc where you can hear each other's thoughts as opposed to what they actually say, I can see how it would go that way. But them not understanding that her happy-go-lucky fun was a face was just too hard to believe because well, she mean, addressed it. I mean, it was in the first freaking arc. I exactly. Mean, I, I, lo I loved how they discussed identity in the first arc. And... Uh, Especially her old debate with, well, you still know who I'm at. I am, no matter wh who I am. And uh, I, I, I got where she like. That's where they really handled her personality much better because mm -hmm. it isn't about how you act; it's about who you are. And the fact that she could trick him shouldn't reflect poorly on him in my mind. I didn't like her thought process. No, but, but it was it's an interesting same, way to look. Yeah, at this. exactly. I agree. Cause, That's cause, why I'm telling you, man, that first arc pulled me in. How uh -huh. they concluded it. Oh, exactly. man. The first arc is mostly why I recommended it. It was super and interesting. It got super intense and, like, had a shot. Yeah, bang was, ending. Holy crap, throws somebody off a bridge. Right? Oh, man, just threw me for a loop. And I'm like, you're just going to throw off one of the main characters right here at the end of the first arc? Are they, there's three seasons uh. of this, isn't there? <laughs> Um, but then the, the change of pace, like the pacing from 1, 2 to end was perfect. Did not like the two between the middle and the end, but uh, those two, outside of those two, man. By that point, I was already pulled in, so I was I was invested and I couldn't drop them. <laughs> that second part arc, though, was really good. That was mm -hmm. so funny. So much fan service. Like where she just comes across the table, you know, and just like aggressively <laughs> asserts himself onto him. Oh, it was hilarious. I, I will, loved it. And I will say by the end, it got kind of annoying. In the third arc, when Tai Chi can't tell them what's going on or it'll last forever, the fact that nobody can be like, oh, this has got to be more heart seed and BS. It's like, what? Yeah, and it's like, I can't say. Like, oh, really? We have to force it out of you. No, I can't say. <laughs> That's right. It is heart seed. You probably can't say <laughs> Oh, no, that would be too hard for our thought process. We'll just bully him into it because oh Claire God. apparently has no self-control. <laughs> uh, that's like from third, fourth arc and fifth arc to a certain extent. Like, it got hard to believe. And that was one of my... Uh, that's, that's, that's the point where I was like, all right, stick on in a bar, watch her. Don't care about anything else. Uh, blah, 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 blah. A lot of the... They're just simple... And <laughs> so to put in perspective, like outside of uh, Tai Chi, Inaba, and Nagase, I literally like the teacher more than I liked Yui yep. or uh, Aoki. And he isn't even the teacher for half of the freaking show. Well, even when he is, I like I like him as the teacher. He's me a, too. A silly teacher. One of the things that really bothered me was how they handled Aoki. Um, 
the the topic that she had that she had been assaulted and was afraid of men even though she's a strong martial artist was a very serious topic and uh, a really good one that could have been handled really well and I felt like they handled it by Tai Chi just kind of talked her out of it you don't need to be afraid and yeah, that kind of was about expe- <laughs> about the extent of how they explained it away which they is, they literally mansplained away which uh, is really a shame because I give anime in Japan in general a lot more credit for its equal treatment of women in media than I yeah. do America and they did outside of her yeah they just handled her garbage like everything about how they handled her character her character arc was they started with a great character with a lot of depth a lot of room to explore and they just kind of like skim the top off we're done we're good we handled that so disappointed with that arc (laughs) i was disappointed from the very start and every time they went back to it it just disappointed me more i was very disappointed with how they handed iori in the last arc versus the first yep there was so much more they could have done there I don't think they explored enough the potentials of that social experiment compared to just focusing on Nagase not getting it. Or them not getting her, which... Yeah. Well, and that was the point of the first arc, was to understand each other better. I like how they handled the ending of it, though, where they handled her and they went back to the house and they figured out that basically her mom was doing the same thing as she was and putting on a face and staying with her dad because she thought it was better for her and she yep. was being nice to try and make dad happy so that he would stay with her and and they were all trying to please each other something perfectly believable exactly and it it really hit the nail on the head for me like you can't just bend over backwards to please everyone because you can end up both of you inconveniencing yourself trying to please the other one not realizing you're both doing it just to please each other when you'd both prefer to not do it yep and the only one benefiting is no one yeah like that that was so believable and well done they just didn't need all that excessive amounts of trying to figure out why she was being a jerk. And the opposite end of believable was uh, the, uh, the Aoki getting mad when Yuri liked her because she looked like another girl. People have types, whatever. Yeah, right? <laughs> and, uh, Yuri's whole could... arc, too, was so dumb. Uh, Yui's? Yuri's? Was it Yuri? Yui. Yui? Uh, Yui. Okay. Well, yeah. The, the blonde boy, or brown haired boy. I assume he was American. I'm not good at delineating. Who knows? <laughs> it's anime. Uh, he was so dull. Essentially, his arc came down to, I pursue what I want to, and I just do what I want, and I don't. I live every day like it's my last. Honestly, and I don't remember them that much either. <laughs> he was so dumb. He was so poorly done. And they kind of addressed that in the anime, where it's like, you're the most boring one. You you haven't done anything to help this arc. You're the, the worst of this group. And... Yeah, you're right. You didn't fix it. You tried, but you didn't. You pulled did not pull it off. His resolution was basically, "I do what I want," <laughs> and uh, that was the conclusion of his arc. <laughs> Admittedly, they didn't have a lot to work with. Nope. I, I can't even characters. remember what was interesting about him. I was going to say, "Oh, he was a WWE fan." That was why he was kind of unique. No, that but was no, Tai that Chi. Was tai Chi and... So no, he didn't even have that. No, interest. his interesting personality was he hit He's on women. With, no, he hit on A- Aoki, and only Aoki after a while, and loved her more than anything until he remembered that he used to have a crush. And he had to go say hi to his crush to realize that he could move on, even though he still loved her. Because he does what he wants. Uh, yep, it's it's starting to come back to me more. Ah, but Inaba was amazing, uh, a badass, brutal, but practical and smart incredibly smart. smart yeah nah sometimes she was dumb like her handling of the second arc i, I thought her handling of the second arc was perfect okay avoid situation at all possible she's but the, the whole herself. purpose of this like i felt like after the first one they should have realized that like avoiding the situation results with punishment by heart seed and at least by part way through the second one they should have figured that out was my feeling but she, I, and I liked it because she's like, all right, we know. Which she they just did. threw that rule she, out for the third one or fourth one where they all become kids. Like, oh, yeah, you can hide in the building by yourself. That's totally cool because you know, this one would be just impractical well, to try and handle otherwise. That one wasn't heart scene, technically. Yeah, fair enough. That was a other. rude other entity. Which, can I, that is another complaint. The whole, the premise 
I would have been better if it had just been purely magical god force other than Heartseed. Like, the... They left too much to the imagination for this group of otherworldly entities that come in and perform social experiments on humans and then make threats about if you tell, we'll make it forever, but we actually won't, and Heartseed will come and... Way too complicated. If you're gonna just make it a god entity and not explain anything, just... Make it happen. Yeah, you don't have any explanation. It was fine until I was fine with it until the introduction of the second heart seed. That's where it got weird for me. That just life. pissed me off. That like was one step too far. The other parts was just dumb, and I felt under, over developed for a, a part that doesn't need. You don't need to have the narrator come down and explain the rules of the game. Some people do. Honestly, it's it's all about suspension of disbelief for some people. And it might have been better because, like I said, it's aimed at a younger audience, and having the terms explained may have been a good thing. I I liked the idea that the rules don't get explained. You're just in the situation now. You don't know why. You never end up knowing why, and it just ends eventually. Well, it, the, the purpose of the rules for me is it allowed them to apply some game theory to what they were doing, which is... All Inuba did the second act was apply game theory to Heartseed's game. But then they'd take and screw the rules and just say, uh, no, no game theory. You guys have to play, otherwise I start punishing. It I still can't... gives the character something to do. Yeah, but... I mean, if... It's it's like games. Um, games like Dark Souls. Almost all of the game knowledge is taught through trial and error. You figure it out. The, the storytelling and everything is through the gameplay... And the whole story is told through the gameplay. This is an anime where I felt the terms of the game and how it's played through would have been just as good, if not better, if you'd gotten rid of the narrator to explain. But it. you're putting it, you you are putting it in the context of an anime. If something like real life, the stakes are a lot higher and fear will be crippling. So there need to be some rules laid down to get them to actually do things. Well, if you like, I said they have the punishment if you hide. That that works, even if you don't explain. I don't know. I it's don't a think minor right, but it annoyed me. I don't think it does work if you explain it. Because Heartseed had to come in and throw somebody off a bridge for them to get the point. True. I can't even... No, that was... That was largely just to throw a wrench in the plan. Just to force yeah. a super difficult confrontation for him. And I, I really liked that idea. And see, you could have. Uh, you heard it here, folks. First, folks, he likes people throwing people off of bridges. Young girls. Young <laughs> girls. Yeah. High school age girls being oh, thrown man, off. And I had an idea of maybe likes. running for a politician. <laughs> <laughs> politician. Not anymore. I think uh, your not your name, but uh, uh, no game, no life. Probably threw that out the window oh when I started God. talked about tasteful uh, handling of uh, mm. incest. <laughs> <laughs> They're not incest, but a. Uh, <laughs> romantic brother sister relationships <laughs> which they then threw out the window because anime you can't you can't even do no, that they're right they're step siblings god <laughs> oh god let's not get me mad about yeah. that again. um no man i totally lost my train but you could have handled that same situation where her eyes just go blank she gets on the bridge and jumps off and they get to the next part i don't know what happened i I lost control of my body. Something came into me, and I was I jumped. Well, no that that wasn't that wasn't the point. The point was okay. She's going to die. You guys have to decide who. That was where the oh, rules matter. Oh, yeah, you're right. You could have had the doctor tell him she's not gonna live. Uh, she's gonna pass away in the next few that hours. That would. And then uh, she pops into someone's body. I don't know. That would. Uh... It, yeah, that would like, throw credibility on the doctor as an issue, though. Ah, whatever. It was a miracle! <laughs> but then Tai Chi, like, Ah, oh, God, I just wish I could change places with her. Huh? And, like, then she's there. And then, oh, natural flow. Oh, these are the rules. We can change places with her now. We can force the change. They realize, and it's all natural and flowing. I, I'm just I saying, I just think it could have better. I didn't have that big of a problem with Heartseed until... Later, they later made, heart seed. Until they introduced more heart seed. And did not explain it at all, except, nope. oh yeah, don't uh, worry about And he's her. gone now. She, whatever. I'll take care of her. 
Mm-hmm. I did like the way they developed Heartseed as a character, though. That's that's what frustrates me is they brought in something that had enough character that it should have been explained. It felt like there's a hole in the story where if it's just magical presence, the store the game terms of the game are handled through the storytelling. You've but got more time to do the storytelling, and it doesn't have this a clear thing to wonder about. It's just I wonder how this happens. I don't know. I'm not stuck on it. I just I like you. I got pissed off when female Heartseed showed up, and I was like, "This is dumb. Like this, just just dumb. I'm getting silly. Come on now." <laughs> so one of my my notes here is <laughs> I wish I the ending is so contrived. And I can't remember. Uh, the why i think it was uh they kidnapped in a oh my god that's why the whole kidnap scene was so stupid i don't know and i could this... i could picture people being that stupid I... especially I since so... it's like i just i did not like that ending at all and i didn't feel it added anything to the story <laughs> well the the idea the, the it continues on in light novels, and the idea was to set up that other girl is joining their group. Oh God, another character to not actually, give a shit about. <laughs> actually, they had several more characters. Oh the God, I'm glad I didn't out. get in the light novel. <laughs> they had too I many already. I I didn't read it. Either. I I looked it up on Wikipedia. Just okay. Yeah, that that whole bit was so dumb. The part they handled with the mother, fantastic, but that whole like oh just keeps escalating to like. Oh no, someone destroyed our club room and broke all of our papers. Uh oh, she knows who we are. We gotta kidnap her. Whoa, 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 man. This is for some papers. We're not going to jail or anything for what we did. We're not even gonna get in trouble if she purports us. We go to a different school. Maybe they go to the same school. The ramifications are so minor, and they go straight to kidnapping. <laughs> then they go straight to beating up the girl that they're hired by. And I don't even know why they're working for her other than she's cute, I think. I think they. I think she paid him. Maybe she paid him? I don't know. So I thought that was her thing. Is she was from a very rich family. And... and then they escalate like, oh, they found us. We better beat their butts up. Oh, they've got a karate girl. We better slash this girl's throat with a knife. Well, <laughs> Jesus, man, you guys have gone so far out the deep end. I don't end. know. There are some pretty You're stupid You're straight people. up to murder. Like, we, 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 we went from, we ripped up some papers to murder over the course of an episode. College kids are very stressed out all the time. <laughs> <laughs> like, that, that escalation was just so comically over the top. I, I struggled to struggled to get along with that. Gosh. What, you, what do you think? We good? Um, uh, let me check if I've got any... God, my daughter. What is she doing? Smash uh, TV, they didn't handle some of the topics as well as they could have. All of the Nagase growth is stup- simple and dumb. That was that whole last arc. Just yeah. pissed me off in that growth. <laughs> they... I don't they, blame like, you. They could have condensed that whole the, arc well, to one episode. The entire point of the arc was to break up Tai Chi and Iori so that uh, Inaba and Tai Chi could get together. Yeah. That was that was the entire point of the last arc. But, like, they didn't even do that part well. No. Like, that was the problem. Well, that and the whole arc were the worst parts of that arc they did. Like, why she broke up with them is like, oh, I found myself and who I am. So therefore, I have to break up with you, even though you like me and I still like you. But I, I've i discovered who I am, and therefore, we can't really be together anymore. <laughs> what? Well, don't worry. Inaba's way better than you anyways. So we're all good with it. <laughs> even if it's dumb. Something like that. Inaba, second best waifu next to... Uh... Oh, no, third. She's third in my list behind Megumi. 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 And, uh, uh, Toradora Redhead. Uh, crap. If you hadn't said Toradora Redhead, I would have known. <laughs> um, <laughs> You're going to look it up. Yes, I'm going to look it up, damn it. It's going to bug uh, me. Um, other uh, than that, though, uh, I still hold it's a 6 out of 10. It was above average, but... God, the blonde guy... Blonde boy, uh, Yui and Aoki just drag, drug the whole thing down. And it wouldn't have been a, a, a story without him. That's what sucks. You needed the extra people to make up, like... Minery. 
Kushi. Yeah. yeah. She was great. Yep. Okay, uh, any Excuse words me, of uh, wisdom for the uh, audience? No. Uh, 